The all-new 2023 Hyundai Tucson sports a cutting-edge style, which stands out among its more sober-looking compact SUV competitors. Now, that doesn't mean the new 2023 Hyundai Tucson will sacrifice practicality or affordability. It has both. The automaker has taken the blanket approach with the Tucson by offering a wide variety of trims as well as powertrains. But is the 2023 Hyundai Tucson even worth buying? Let's find out. The crossover market is no doubt growing. It was a great year for compact SUVs in 2022. Every year, new models promise incredible wonders to buyers. Hyundai is a landmark in the SUV segment. Tucson occupies a popular niche when slotting between the Kona and the Santa Fe. And for 2023, the value gets even better thanks to improved standard features on most trims. A 187 horsepower 2.5 liter four cylinder will be standard and comes with an eight speed automatic and either front or all wheel drive. Also, a turbocharged 1.6 liter four will power the hybrid and plug-in hybrid models, which is good for a combined 226 horsepower and 261 horsepower respectively. And the all-wheel drive will be a standard with the electrified powertrains, and both come with a six-speed automatic transmission. At best, the non-hybrid Tucson's performance is only touching on adequate, so that lead-footed drivers will yearn for more power. At the test track, Car Expert's all-wheel drive limited test vehicle grinded to 60 miles per hour in 8.8 .8 seconds, which isn't great, but nothing to brag about. Aside from this, the more powerful Tucson and plug-in hybrid are pretty quick. The loaded limited hybrid test vehicle managed a reasonable 7.1 second run to 60 miles per hour at its test track. While the Hyundai Tucson lineup is no sports car, its handling is very confident, its steering is reasonably crisp, and its ride is great. And what's most impressive about the Hyundai Tucson's driving demeanor is how quiet and refined it feels when cruising. These traits give the SUV a sense of luxury that is quite rare to find in this class. According to the EPA, the plug-in hybrid model sports a 13.8 kilowatt battery pack that is claimed to give up to 33 miles of electric-only driving. A 7.2 kilowatt onboard charger allows the battery to be fully recharged in about two hours when it is connected to a level two charging station. Also, the EPA has tested the non-hybrid versions of the Hyundai Tucson, and it should deliver as high as 26 mpg in the city and 33 mpg on the highway with front wheel drive. The all new Hyundai Tucson's efficiency ratings for the hybrid model are as high as 38 mpg in the city and around 38 mpg on the highway. The plug-in hybrid model got a rating of 80 mpg combined, and it gave around 33 miles of electric-only driving in the EPA's test. On its 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy route, the hybrid model of the Tucson failed to deliver its EPA estimated 38 mpg, just giving 28 mpg. And car experts still need to test the plug-in hybrid or the non-hybrid Tucson on the test route. With its exposed cladding, roof rails, and blacked out accents, the Tucson XRT certainly looks like it means business. Following a complete redesign for the previous 2022 model year, the Hyundai Tucson sees only a few packaging changes for the new model. The Tucson Premium package has been eliminated from the Tucson SEL model, and also its contents have been distributed as standard features to many other trim levels. The panoramic roof is now standard on the Tucson N-Line trim, and the larger 10.3-inch infotainment screen can be seen on all Tucson XRT trims and up. Adaptive cruise control, pedestrian detection, as well as a speed limit assist feature will be standard on all the new hybrid Tucson trims. The Serenity White Pearl replaces quartz white on the Hyundai Tucson's exterior color palette. Now, aside from a tow hitch, the XRT only adds a little substance. Its functionality is identical to the SCL trim with the convenience package, which includes the same tires, same ground clearance, and same underbody protection. The rugged looks may appeal to some, but potential buyers looking for all-terrain capability should probably look elsewhere. The all-new 2023 Hyundai Tucson approaches luxury-level quality when it comes to comfort. It has a supple suspension, which offers an excellent ride, and bumps and cracks in the road are absorbed very well. It's among the best rides in the class. The Tucson sports a simplistic but modern dashboard design with a digital gauge display, a push-button shifter, and a touch-sensitive control panel for the climate control system and infotainment. 
Hyundai's flagship Palisade SUV and the brand's recently redesigned Sonata and Elantra sedans have served as a watershed moment for the company's interior designs, and the new Tucson continues the trend with a thoughtfully arranged interior filled with quality materials and luxury features. The new 2023 Hyundai Tucson's rear seat space and cargo area are both bigger than the outgoing model, giving much more passenger comfort and practicality. Behind the hybrid's back row, car experts fit nine carry-on suitcases and the luggage capacity went up to 22 bags with the seat back stowed. The all-new 2023 Hyundai Tucson offers a sharp set of technology features that work quickly and feel ultra-modern at this price. Firstly, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard and display nicely on the available 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen. If you prefer Hyundai's native system, the navigation is easy to follow, thanks to clear directions and a vivid map that works well in tandem. Also, another strong point is the voice activation feature, which recognizes commands well and doesn't force you to follow specific prompts as strictly as some competitors. You can toss plenty of stuff in the back of a Tucson. Its storage capacity of 38.7 cubic feet behind the rear seats is among the largest for smaller SUVs. You can fold down the rear seats and you've got 74 0.8 cubic feet at your disposal. The low liftover and nice flat floor should make it easy to stack up boxes on moving day or gifts during the holidays. The cabin offers decent sized spaces throughout to hold your smaller items. The cup holders can hold large water bottles as well. Do you happen to have small children? Well, installing a child seat is as easy as reaching between the back cushions to locate the latches. Also, the spacious back seat should give enough space for even the most bulky rear-facing seats. The Tucson earned a Top Safety Pick Plus award from the IIHS. The NHTSA wasn't quite as impressed and gave the new Tucson a four-star overall rating for all-wheel drive models. Front-wheel drive models earned five stars easily. Automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and driver attention monitors are standard equipment. Blind spot monitoring is included on every trim except the base SE. Limited models get a bundle of extras, including a surround view camera system, a highway driving assist mode, and an advanced parking assist. The Tucson comes in five trims, SE, SEL, N-Line, XRT, and Limited. All five share Tucson's best design and its impressive driving performance. Unlike the Sonata N-Line, the Tucson N-Line is mostly a cosmetic upgrade. The pricing for the 2023 Hyundai Tucson starts at $26,450 for the SE trim. $28,050 for the SEL model, $33,275 for the rugged XRT trim, $33,325 for the sporty N-Line model, and $35,710 for the premium limited trim. All-wheel drive is a $1,500 option on every trim. For the best value, we would stick to the SEL trim. It comes with blind spot monitoring and heated front seats, and the 10.3-inch infotainment system is available in the convenience package. We would add it in, so when equipped, the Tucson SEL is a good value for just over $30,000. On the surface, the Tucson is a winner. It's hard to look past the exterior design in a good way. The design vision of the Vision T concept is largely intact, and the flashy running lights on either side of the grille look fantastic in person. The interior is spacious and just as attractive. Even climate control is innovative thanks to a nifty diffuse mode. Dig a little deeper, however, and the Tucson shows its flaws. Tech features sometimes behave differently. We encountered an overactive driver attention monitoring and a stubborn gear selector. The powertrain could be faster and its power delivery could be better. The handling is so-so and the suspension is too stiff for a mainstream crossover. In this case, beauty is mostly skin deep. Style conscious buyers will enjoy the design, but a Honda CRV, Nissan Rogue, or Subaru Forester would better serve most drivers. Now, if Hyundai can fix its powertrain and suspension details, the front runners should watch out. The new Hyundai Tucson is actually a decent car for the cost, but it just isn't as well built as the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Click the video on your screen now to learn more about why the RAV4 is winning in this segment.